I'm sure you've heard the argument leveraged against the carnivore diet that eating red meat leads to high TMAO levels, which are correlated with increased risk for heart disease. What you may not have heard is that fish consumption actually leads to way higher TMAO levels as compared to red meat. But yet no one seems to link fish consumption with heart disease. So why do we have all of this mixed messaging? Because these are the consequences of relying on epidemiological and observational studies. And I get that it's difficult to run nutrition randomized controlled trials for very long periods of time with humans. But unfortunately, relying on epidemiological studies is leading us down the wrong path in our nutrition recommendations. So what is TMAO? It stands for trimethylamine N-oxide, and your body actually makes it. Specifically, your gut bacteria convert the lecithin, betaine, choline, and carnitine, which are nutrients found in foods like eggs and red meat, into TMA, which is then acted upon by the liver enzyme flavin monooxygenase, or FMO3, to make TMAO. In other words, your gut bacteria create the precursor to TMAO known as TMA, and then your liver converts TMA to TMAO. Now, high TMAO levels are strongly correlated with obesity, type 2 diabetes, fatty liver disease, cancer, and metabolic syndrome. What this could mean is that if you are obese, then your body might be creating more TMAO as compared to someone who's healthier than you. This is just another example of how some are mistaking correlation for causation, as is the case for most nutritional discourse, unfortunately. So this begs the question. Is red meat going to give me heart disease? The answer is we have no strong evidence whatsoever linking red meat consumption to heart disease. Also, you might be shocked to learn that some studies have shown a beneficial effect of high TMAO levels on heart disease, but I will keep that information for a future video. So make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell icon so YouTube alerts you when those videos go live. In the meantime, I'll continue to drink my decaf and my carnivore mug that has this printed on it, Eat Meat, Lift, Repeat. And if you'd like to join me, grab this mug by clicking on the link in the description box below. Also, for ideas on what is the healthiest human diet, watch this video on a hypercarnivore diet. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.